Hi! <laughs> Hello, it's me. This is Katsu. Today I'm gonna be doing something a little different that I'm honestly so excited about. I'm gonna do a story time. So I've posted on my Facebook before about my experience with the government agency that's supposed to give you the passport here in Davao, Philippines. After that, I didn't know that a lot of my co-workers and friends didn't have a passport, so I was like, I'm gonna do a story time. <laughs> because of my struggle like the struggle is seriously real so my sister told me that we're gonna go somewhere this coming april last like last year december and then january came rolling by and didn't do anything it, it was honestly my fault by february shawty and i my little brother we're gonna get a passport because he's gonna come with us in the trip and then dude i wake up early in the morning like 3 30 a.m I cooked food, be a good sister, I told him to pack an umbrella, I brought blankets, I loaded my phone with a million videos so I won't be bored because it's gonna be like a really real waiting game. And by the time we got there, the line was so long, no joke, it was like around 300 or 400 people and I was like, is there an addition for a PBB? And then I saw like people there um, calling out names and they were looking at a paper. So they were listing the names, so like it's a priority number thingy. And I thought they were from DFA or Department of Foreign Affairs and they were like, no, we're lining up here too. So I was like, okay, so what's the last number on your paper if I may ask? And they were like, um, if we'd write you, you'd be like around 300 plus. I was like, if we, like spend time lining up it will be kind of useless because as the guard told us that DFA Davo usually just gives out 160 or are up to 180 slots per day and even if you lined up for like a good 12 hours you won't get a priority number they just have to line up another day I ask the first lady in the line hi Ate, uh, may I just ask what time did you start lining up here? So she was like 11 a.m. in the morning. What do you mean? The mall opens up at 10 a.m. So this lady was waiting there almost like around 15 hours because it was like 4 or 5 a.m. that time. The guard even told me someone fainted. What do you mean? A lady fainted because it was so hot because they had to line outside the parking lot. They had to the best thing to do was get a passport through a travel agency so I called the more popular ones and the latest date was February third week I was like I can't so I was like um, nah I just I really need to line up so I lined up it was Sunday it was around 8 30 I'm not gonna use this hand because it has no paint <laughs> this one has white I had to get this award at boxers and I was like Yo, the line is kind of long, so can we just like check for a minute? But there were people again lining, uh, like writing your name down, priority number, and I was number 147. 147. Wait, unless you don't get the gravity of the situation, it was 8.30. PM. The mall wasn't even closed yet. The slots was almost done and I was like, girl. Yeah, can you write my name and my friend's name because he was gonna get a passport too. And I really asked the person in the line, I was like, Ate, can I just ask for a favor? I need to get an award at Boxers really, really quick. Just like 10 minutes or 30 minutes tops. Can you just, can you like, please, I need this one. And she was like, okay, okay, just go really fast because we're gonna give her a slot if you take a lot of time there. We need to be fair. We need to line up. I was like, okay, okay, promise, promise. So I went there, went there, and then I got the award, and then, oh, thank you, by the way. It was a fashion icon of the year for Yappa, Davo Eagle. Oh, thank you guys for voting. I love you. Like waiting there, I sat down on the ground. That's no problem. I waited there for a couple of hours and then my friend came there. His name is Hans. 
A couple of hours, we were talking with a lady beside us. She was like, yeah, these girls have worked somewhere and then they applied in DFA Jensen. But the good thing about that DFA is you don't have to line up. I was like, where was this information all along? <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, <laughs> you could literally go to Jensen right now. Just not wait for 12 hours. So I was like, hands. I have a good idea. Are you willing to go to Jensen? Road trip. Spontaneous road trip. And he was like, wait, Lombay. Okay. I was like checking something. I was like, okay. I went home. I was like, Shorty, come with us. Around 4 or 5 a.m., we went to the bus stop. And the bus fare is around 300 if it's non stop. 300 buses get to you Wi Fi uh, comfort room, which. I didn't use any of those. I slept and I was like, okay, can't, can't tell the driver that we'll drop off at Robinson's? And he was like, okay, sure. I was like, go yeah, Robinson's. And he was like, we passed it already, girl. I was like, guys. <laughs> and then, stop, stop. Para, para. We went there and then we rode another tricycle and we arrived at Robinson. And Hans was like, <laughs> God, I forgot my documents in the bus. I was like, what do you mean? We lined up 8.30 a.m. Yeah, 8.30 a.m. We just had to wait like an hour. But the good thing about it was while we were waiting there, the DFA people were outside giving the forms already with numbers. I was like, I'm impressed. Hands arrived and everything was good. By the time the mall opened, I kid you not, we were like running. Well, just shot at me because we were feeling the situation and really ran like sprint. And I didn't even know where DFA was. I was like, where's DFA? Oh, there it is. Running. So I went there, we waited. Do. Wait. Oh, it became lighter. This is my envelope. This is full of documents. And it was my time to go, and the girl was like, uh, ma'am, can I get an ID? A valid government ID? I was like, Honestly, it was so fast. I was like, I love DFA Jensen. We started 9.30 a.m. We were done by 12 on the clock, like on the dot. That was so quick. So the prices were 9.50, not the rush one, like it takes 20 working days, 1,200, and another 150 pesos for LBC to deliver it to you if you're not from Jensen. And an LBC carrier, was inside the DFA Jensen. I was like, and the Cerex machine was inside DFA Jensen. And I was like, everything you needed was there. You know, they're like, SM. And I even asked the girl, I was like, I was like how many slots do you have per day? And she was like, L. Oh, we can cater like sometimes, like 300 people at Malice. And I was like, I was like, that's so awesome because in Davao they just give out like 160 slots and she was like yeah just stop at 4 p.m but so good and i was like oh, nice nice girl then the girl told me uh i apologize if i keep flicking my hair off like some stereotypical girl it's just that whenever i shoot videos i don't turn my electric fan off so it keeps sticking on my sweaty skin so i'm so sorry so okay bye <laughs> um ma'am if your passport doesn't arrive by the 16th, you can call this number. I was like, okay. I think by the 18th, I was like worried because it was still not there. I was like, okay, I need to call them. One phone number for Jensen. I was like, Girl, what? I called and I called. Imagine this is the telephone. I was like, ring. No, it didn't even ring. I was like busy. Every time I called, it was like 8 a.m. It was busy. 5 p.m. So they're closing time. It was still busy. Girls, I was like, help from Still nothing because I can't physically do anything about it unless I go there. I was like, for faith. I was like, okay, Lord, I'm gonna believe. Okay, Lord, I'm gonna wait. In your perfect time, I know it will arrive. And today it's the 24th of February. I was like painting my face, and then someone rang the doorbell. Guess who? I ran, like sprinted. I was like, 
I saw the LBC motorcycle. I was like, is this it? Or I didn't want to get my hopes up. So I was like, Kuya! I was in the balcony. I was like, Mom? Kuya, popcorn na! And he was like, Yeah. I was like, Thank you. So this is kind of an unboxing thing. I'm being such a girl right now. You have no idea how long I've waited for you. <laughs> I look like a criminal here. I'm wearing contacts right now, but my glasses is so thick. It's like the grade is fourth. 75 and 500 and if we can't see we look cross-eyed you can't take your glasses off and I was like sure and I was like I was like this all done he was like uh can you like move your hair I was like okay sure sure I was like because I was really concentrating on the camera Hello, it's me <laughs> moral of the story if you work hard enough you like put everything into it You'll get what you want, and like, or you'll get things that you like. Moral of the story. If you were like in a rush, I'd. So after following up with three of my friends who asked my advice about the passport thing, I discovered that they knew somebody inside, and they just had to pay that person under the table, which is so corrupt. But it really is faster. It'll get your passport faster if you applied in DFA Davao. So yeah, it's so confusing. <laughs> Highly suggest going to Jensen. So moral of the story do things you need to do right away Don't put it off or you'll really regret the time that you wasted I'll post a link on the bottom the documents that they accept if you're going to Jensen just bring like 2,000 That's so good when you arrive there. Just tell the bus driver to drop you off at Robinson's Not the bus terminal just Robinson's because they go there and bring all your stuff. Hold your documents like really near you. You don't forget about it in the bus. <laughs> Just kidding. And more of the story of so young, get your passport. Like, don't wait until you're 23 years old like me to get the passport. I was like, I'm so old, I don't even have one. You never know when a traveling opportunity comes or when you'll move to another country. Just work for things and wait for things that for you. Adulting is so hard. So if you're new here, please subscribe and be part of my family. Please uh, share it to people if you think that this might help them with the passport thing in Davao, Philippines. Exactly. I have a, an official Facebook page now, so I'm just gonna put some of my stuff there. So I hope you guys have a blessed day and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know. So like it.